may happen behind closed doors, but it needs to be brought out from these shadows and into broad daylight. One in four children and at least one woman a week is killed. It is extremely confronting and we are probably very, very lucky um, if violence and family violence hasn't affected us directly in some way. Because it is one in three women, one in three women. Um, and, and it's not selective. The reason I do have a voice is because Luke died in such a tragic way by his father. Otherwise, you are another victim. And unfortunately, up until recently, not really heard and not really understood. And it was still a topic that was behind closed doors, which is quite incredible because this isn't a recent phenomenon. This has gone on forever. But I'm being given this opportunity as a strain of the year to continue to raise our consciousness and the normality of the problem. I've been given this great opportunity to raise awareness and I intend to do everything I can this year to raise the awareness to the point it can never be swept behind closed doors again. But we cannot rely on our governments and other people. We have to step up and take our own responsibility for the changes we can introduce within our immediate world. One in four children is affected by family violence. So you may think they're safe right now, but as a daughter, you should be, you, if you have daughters, you should be worried. Because it doesn't mean that they're immune from ending up in a violent relationship, no matter how much you've protected them and how much you've brought them up. And we did say it was one, in, one woman a week being murdered, but it is now on average two women a week being murdered. This issue is not going away, but we right now have an opportunity to know we can change this and turn these statistics around. In actual fact, we have to do this. What can we do to make a difference? I speak frequently every single time I can to say how underfunded, how under-resourced, how under-respected and how under-appreciated the organisations working for women and children to keep them safe are.